hey guys welcome back so guys we are continuing our php admin panel series so guys as we have seen in previous video that we have done with the enquiry submission form of a service and now guys in this video we are going to see how can we uh, fetch all the services and list them inside our admin dashboard so now guys let's get started to build this enquiries list okay so let's move to our editor let me close all the files and let's move and inside admin folder we need to create the file so let me copy the file name here let's click so it goes to enquiries.php let's create that enquiries.php and now let's import i mean include the header and footer part so you can just go to any file just do control a copy and paste here and now let's modify the things and change the heading enquiries list let's remove this and now let's move below and here we need to add name phone and the service whatever we have booked for status and action so now here let's get that the table name enquiries copy this table name enquiries and paste it and now guys let's change that enquiries variable paste paste okay and now it's looping as item then select for the phone and one more that is your service let's paste your service save it and this is a status so guys we forgot about the status let's copy and paste this also so go inside your inquiries table structure and let's add one column after the message go add the status add where care and here give 100 so in the comments we can mention as pending completed and cancelled and now allow as null also and by default it should be accepting as pending okay so whenever record creates so it should be always pending let's save here we have added that pending by default let's browse and you see that okay here it's null let me add as pending and whenever we submit it should add as pending so now let's get back here refresh okay so we have displayed the inquiry list and now uh, we need to change the status here and tell the status okay directly we can view that status so you will be able to see that service is pending so let me add one more inquiry like user user at gmail.com some random digit phone number let's save submit so thank you for contacting us now let me refresh here so we have got and by default you should see that it's pending okay so here you see by default it inserted the pending all set so now guys let us change this from edit to view so let's move and here is the edit so instead of edit let's tell view and this is going to be an info kind of and let's make it to enquiries view okay dot php let's copy and create the file guys so let's create that enquiries view so now guys let's import the basic header and footer let me copy from here itself and just copy and paste and go to below paste it done and let's tell view inquiry okay and now let's see the output of it refresh let's click on view perfect so we are on view inquiry and let's add a back button add a tag back let's design this as a button 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 danger and just float to end let me keep it button small margin bottom zero and here 
give the enquiries.php file name. Now you can see the result. Refresh, go back, perfect. So now guys, let's try to fetch the data. Let's use the table structure, table body, that is T body and table row, table data, where inquiry ID and then echo the inquiry data. So before this, let us open PHP, close PHP and you need to get the parameter value. So we have already done in many videos. Let's copy that code. So we get the parameter result and data here and paste it. Okay. So let's push this and the PHP and the if condition and close PHP. I mean, here we have to start the PHP. Okay. So now guys, uh, let's open and close. Control X and paste here. All set. Table name that is inquiries. The table name is and variable also will be changing now. Paste it inquiry. Okay. If inquiry is success, then you're going to show. If not success, then you're going to tell echo in a h5 tag like no record found so if the inquiry is there then you're going to show that inquiries of data of the inquiry id is nothing but basic id what we have shown here okay the id primary id get back now let's copy and paste for all the fields so this will be the name let's change to name and then email let's change this to email and then service let's copy and paste here service and then finally the message add the message and copy this and paste here for the status status which is shown as status here and one more thing that is our the inquiry date okay created at that is inquiry date okay so you can add as created underscore at let's save and now guys let's see the output of it refresh okay we get a mysql exception here that table doesn't exist so let me copy that the table name let me paste here inquires now refresh okay perfect so we have got the data let me just design using the bootstrap the table so add a class table table bordered and table hyphen stripped refresh awesome let me just decrease the size so let's move on the first td tag just add a width attribute and make it to 30 percentage let's save and you refresh okay the size is reduced and now guys what we need to do uh, let us update the status of this inquiry once the admin is viewed and we need to update it's completed or it's cancelled so we need to add those data here right so let's move below and in this let's add margin top three and just design a simple card with the card body okay card body and here row column md4 label will be like status i mean update status and then create a select option here form hyphen select give all the options whatever you have mentioned inside your database comment okay so let me just go on the structure here are the comments we are going to paste it okay so let's paste three times the first part 
pending. The second will be completed. And third will be cancelled. Okay. So if you want to make it capital, just add this capital for displaying it. Done. And this will be the status. And now column MD, whatever remaining column we have eight. So just give a button update. Let's design this button hyphen primary. Give the button type as submit. Give the button name update inquiry status. Okay. So, yep. We need to add the form here, start the form and end the form. Let me minimize this row and paste that form. All clear. So now we can give code.php method equal to post. Now guys, let's copy this and go back to our code.php. So let's move at below. Check in if condition the button is clicked or not with the help of a set function which is coming by the post method. And now let's get the status variable and we need to validate that status. Status, okay. So this status is coming from your form inquiry. Okay, so this is the status. Let's copy this and paste here. So now guys, um, once you select that, let's write the query like update the table name. So my table name, let me copy that. So here is the temple name, paste it, set the column name status equal to insert single quotes dollar status. And we need to get the ID also. Okay. So id equal to the inquiry id so let us copy and paste and tell enquiry inquiry id let's create here variable and paste it okay so now you need to create that inquiry id inside your form so first step create an input field make as hidden add a value attribute and pass the inquiry id open and close php with echo option and given name attribute with inquiry id so let me copy this and paste here okay so what is the data let us copy that and paste it this will be the id what you are sending here and now guys let's when you submit it goes with the inquiry id and here you find the id and now let's update this with the help of mysqli query function send the database connection and then your query okay so now let's check in if condition if this result is success else let me copy from above and paste here paste it so let me just get back. Here is the form. Let's copy it. Let's move back. Paste it. ID and inquiry ID. Let's paste the inquiry ID and mention status updated. Okay. Or you can mention inquiry status updated done else something went wrong so now guys you need to get back on the view inquiry view.php on the top of the page just show the message using alert message function as simple and now you can refresh and try to update so guys i just need to break this add a break tag let's move below on the form so here is the form add a br tag and add a border guys so we can differentiate 
what is my form here perfect so I'm going to make as completed let's tell update inquiry status updated awesome and here you see that status is completed let's go back and you see that it's completed awesome guys okay and guys now I just wanted to show you that if you want to get the latest record on the top then you have to change the query okay so let's go to inquiries.php file and here is our main code right so what we have to do we need to change this complete query so we will copy the table name let's type it here select star from the table name and we need to tell order by id okay the column name id and we need to run this so let me run this in that mysqli underscore query function add the connection and then directly paste the query so if query is successful then it comes in and check for the row let's save it and now we can see the output okay it did not come up and down i missed that desc okay so this is the main thing here and now refresh perfect so it's you see guys that the latest inquiry form has come here above so let me just submit for again for different view so om om at gmail.com some random digit phone number submit and okay let's refresh awesome so third has come and let's reject this user view and update that as cancelled update so guys here once the status is cancelled you see that it's not selected as cancelled right so you need to update this also so you can just add a simple code here let's get back on inquiry view and here is that form so let me break this down okay and open php echo and close php so let's copy this data paste check for status is double equal to pending if it is true then you will tell selected else null selected okay so this is the code guys so okay let me copy this and paste here and paste here so to change this to completed this will be cancelled that's it guys now if you refresh here so you see by default it's selected as cancelled let's get back all set so guys we have successfully completed how to list the inquiry and view the inquiries and also update the inquiry status and now guys let's continue next video with the new topic of filtering this inquiry lists okay so in this video that's it thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share